We are now at Soccer K Fuliset and today we will have a race between the E28 and Ionic, the classic one. So here is Powell, he's gonna drive the Ionic. I'm back. Yes. <laughs> finally, finally. So the route will not be to from to Trondheim this time because we need high power chargers. These cars they can utilize high power chargers. So we are going to uh, the same same route we went with uh, with a Porsche uh, to uh, Charlingland. It's called yeah. Lillesan. <laughs> yeah. So I've given uh, Pavel some instructions about where he should charge, and then again it's up to him. He has to do whatever he needs to do. Yeah. So Polish what math. Polish math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So actually, the E208 is thirstier uh, than the Ionic, but it has more range. Uh, yeah, so wh what do you think? Well, I, I think it's going to be a very close, like always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are almost good to go. Live stream is running on both cars. Let's get ready and then off we go. So live stream is running now. And uh, well, right now the car claims 250 kilometers of range. <laughs> it's going to be 180 kilometers of range in highway speed. And the first stop will be Ionity at Ringdalskogen. Well, I, I think, I'm not sure because we have tailwind. I checked everything beforehand. So I, I've done all the preparations. It's 21 degrees Celsius. Yeah, um, it's actually not ideal for me because ideally I want to stop uh, at the high power charger a little bit past uh, Ringdalskogen, but there's simply no high power charger past that point. Uh, well, except for the end point, which is uh, here, Lillesand. So this is what we have to do. Yeah, so uh, Powell is getting ready. And then uh, off we go. Yes, the race is on, finally. Uh, we just uh, left Oslo. We are driving past Sandvika. Bjorn is in the yellow Fisho, uh, and I'm in the red Ionic. Uh, this should be a fun race. Consumption is at 178 watt hour per kilometer. Oh, look at the tie cap. Nice wheels. Uh, maybe he's joining joining our race. <laughs> We are now on the move and there is actually still a lot of traffic. Um, we have a long weekend and there were lots of traffic yesterday, but I'm still surprised that they, that they still have a lot of traffic today. So I hope this won't cause any problems for us. Um, it, it, it's a bad route we have. We went to the south. Everyone and the mother is going to the south. I mean, Norwegians nowadays. So. Um, you know, um, going to Trondheim would be way better. There's no one going there, but there's no HPC in Trondheim. I mean, on the way to Trondheim, that's the problem. So that's why we have to go this way. <laughs> uh, we'll see, uh, but uh, fortunately, most of the time we'll be charging at Ionity and those chargers are not overrun yet. Ah, oh, she, we've been driving for, uh, well, almost an hour and the average speed is just 92 kilometers per hour. That's just ridiculous, man. But you see, we are getting close to Holmestrand now and we still have lots of traffic. Uh, so uh, on hindsight, I should have gone to Österdal instead, especially in summer. Summer over here, the roads are clogged. People are going to the cabins or whatever down south. So this race is going south right now. <laughs> oh shit. All right, this is the first charging stop. We are at 42% still charge. Charging at the Ionity in the Rindalskogen. Here we see the charging uh, speed, 62 kilowatts. That's not shabby. And I guess we're gonna charge here I haven't uh, made my mind yet, but I think we will charge here to 77%. So yeah, um, the little car is doing great. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so 
this will be very exciting. We are now at Ayonti Ringdalskogen. No one is here right now, that's good. Uh, I, but you see, this is the problem. I arrived with a little over 50% and I'm getting 52 kilowatt. I'm not sure if you can see it. There, 52 kilowatt, yeah. Uh, Powell arrived right after me, of course, because we traveled together. But he has lowest state of charge, and let's see. I'm getting 52 kilowatt, Powell. He's getting 62 kilowatt. Oh, it's not oh, that yeah. much different. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, he's, he's charging faster right now, but I have more energy than him. So, uh, the problem today is just... Whoa, look, look, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Here, look, we have two chargers. I think one car is waiting, I'm not sure. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys the plan now. Um, I can't risk of... Uh, the end point is... At Lillesand, 170 kilometers from here. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, I might charge enough just to get straight there because uh, it also costs a little bit of time. I, I calculated it costs two minutes to take a detour. And I managed to turn off the highway and get over here and plug it in within one minute. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but still, Driving 170 kilometers, I have to figure out what to do. I might stop there at Grimstad. We'll see. Uh, but uh, what a shitty start on the race right now. I can already say that if we had no traffic, then the efficiency of the of the Ionic would be I mean, it would be a big advantage versus my car. Man, we we fail at the race. <laughs> So we had an ice cream. Is that, it was it was rigged. It was Shukumal, one of our followers, donated money. Oh yeah. Told told me to buy an ice cream for him, and I was about an ice cream. Yeah, and he ruined actually the whole race. So thank you. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> because by by eating that ice cream, you see, we wasted time. That was Shukumal's plan. Because now, you see, the Ionic is at ninety percent. After ninety minutes, at ninety percent. He started charging at 22 kilowatt. Um, he can go straight to uh, and uh, to the Ionity charger. I can also do it. I have 80 percent. 20. I can also go. We can both go. We we're gonna settle this on the return. Yeah. So I'm leaving now. Have have fun. <laughs> okay. So we just charged up at Ionity. Um, Charge uh, way too much. <laughs> um, we took a short break, uh, an ice cream break, and the hot dog, and the cars charge all the way to. I think mine charged 92 and Bjorn's to 89 or something. So I'm actually considering to go all the way to Lillesam. Yeah, uh, I need to stay below. 145, I think. Right now I'm driving super slowly, um, and my consumption is at 118, as you can see here. So um, yeah, let's see what I will do. Will I go to Lillesand, or do I have to bail out before that? Okay, we are on the run again, and Powell is right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, man. Uh, okay, but um, I calculated that I can average 195 watt hour per kilometer uh, to go all the way, but he has to average less than 125. That's big, man, the difference. 125 versus 195 because I have bigger battery. I have about 50% bigger battery than him. So, most likely, he has to top up on the way. Uh, but I can go straight to the Ionity. So, um, hmm. Yeah, we'll see then. And then, pff, lots of traffic here. So, you see, we, it's, it's a 90 zone and being doing 80 kilometers per hour. Yes. Welcome to Norway. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> come back here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are 
we're getting close to the end point, Lillesand, and we have only 161 consumption. Uh, I was expecting maximum 195, so, but I guess because of the nice weather and the traffic, then yes, so I overshot it by far. We will arrive with 17%, uh, that's my guess, which means that I won't be able to ride on the, on the 95 kilowatt wave too long, unfortunately. So Powell is right behind me. Uh, I'm not sure why he slowed down, but uh, yes, uh, we'll just get there and start charging soon. All right, just arrived in uh, Lillesand and connect the car to the charger. It takes a while, uh, but you can see here. Um, yeah, we arrived here with 11%. 11%, yeah, so. We will have a nice uh, charging session over here now. What does the charger says? Yeah, 11%. Ramping up, 50 kilowatts, 60. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, Bjorn just ar <laughs> he arrived like 10 seconds in front of me. Wow. I'm impressed over this uh, Ionic car. Let's see what kind of speed we get after. We are now at uh, Lillesan. This is probably the most boring race ever. <laughs> we, we arrived at the same time. Uh, okay, well, Tesla parking for the win. I don't want to uh, have extra tension on the cable, so that's why. But you know, how many people were affected by my parking? No one except for five keyboard warriors. <laughs> but I arrived with 17%, which is ten, at least 10% higher than I should. But you see, the good thing about the, the E205 is that it will give you 96 kilowatt for a little bit. You know, if I started from 5%, then it will throttle at 19% roughly, but because I start a little bit later, then I get the 95 kilowatt for a few percent and then it throttles. <laughs> so I work out I need to charge at 75%, which shouldn't take too long. Oh, okay. And then Powell, yeah, <laughs> but this, oh, but this beast though, what was your consumption? Uh, 128, 129. 129? Yeah, I had 160. So uh, there's some hundred and nine and the nine. So there's something about this front because we've been going together like shadows. And the, something about the fish. Okay, okay, I have to I have to point out that I'm fitted with 17 inch wheels. Uh, this it comes with 16 inch also. And Powell just happened to have the most aerodynamic rims and 16 inch wheels. And we actually both have Michelin. This is Michelin Pilot Sport. No wait. Michelin Primacy 4. What about Powell? Michelin Energy. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Michelin Energy My Saber. Secret weapon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. that, it's in the tires and the rims. <laughs> yeah. oh. But okay. So, anyway, the, the problem is that we only have about 25 minutes here. So, I better go to the restroom and get some food and whatever. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna clean the windscreen. Uh, so, pit stop. And I guess Powell also wants to clean, or, now actually, I think, but I can't keep clean his windscreen. He has to clean his own windscreen. <laughs> That's the rule, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be unfair because I don't have too much time. I have to go inside soon, get some food and all that, and then get ready, so. But this is so even now. It's just unbelievable. How that that car is four years old, and I'm struggling to beat him. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this is so close, man. We are. I'm at 75%. This is the the E28. Okay, I'm at 75%. We've been charging exactly the same time. Um, see here, 20 almost 28 kilowatt hour. Okay, look here, almost 28 kilowatt hour. Uh, the Ionic, 23 kilowatt hour. Oh, I'm, I'm averaging more. Yeah, 
yeah. 23 versus 28. He's been camping at 22 kilowatts for a while. At 94%, the charging will stop. This is the all ionic. He can go in a minute. You better get ready. Yeah. I can also go in a minute. <laughs> I need 77%. Yes, I should get ready now. Okay, so <laughs> we just left from uh, Lillesalm. Bjorn, it's so stressed right now. He was so stressed that I will leave before him, you know. So we left at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I charged to 94%. The car automatically stopped at 94. That's Ionic way. But that's uh, that's enough, you know, for uh, for the trip. And Bjorn charged to 77, I think. But yeah. I bet he have uh, recorded it, so yeah. I have to reset some uh, consumption stuff and trip meters and stuff. And, yeah. Well, we're on the run, so uh, as we agreed, we will only drive about 110, yeah, 110 on this uh, stretch. But uh, uh, interesting, my consumption is now at 227. Oh shit, we have. 227. Powell, what is your consumption? My consumption is at 156. Huh? Wait, did you reset it? Yes, I did. You can't. My consumption is pretty, it's pretty high uh, because... And I, and I already used up uh, 7... No, 8% instead the charge. Huh? You can't... I'm at, I'm at 85% right now and I had 94 when I left. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, oh. yeah, he just passed me now. But I'm gonna save energy. I need to rest behind this guy for a little bit, and then I will go fast. So, yes, I found a Peugeot. It's a Peugeot partner. <laughs> so Powell is in the lead now, but uh, we will see. The battle is still not over. <laughs> hey, who do we have here? Powell, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what he's doing. He's gonna, he's gonna draft behind me. Ah, oh, ah, oh, what? We are getting close to uh, Ringdal Skogen now, and I have low battery. I'm not sure how many percent left. 18 kilometers according to GOM, GOM, and I have 13 kilometers, you know, let's, let's slow down, slow down, slow down. I went faster for a bit, uh, Powell is behind me there about a few hundred meters, but uh, I'm not sure how much I can spend, so. <laughs> and Powell is also slowing down because he's also running low, <laughs> so, oh shit, man, uh, okay, uh, we can make it, we can just slow down a little bit and we can make it, but, uh, Mm, that headwind, man. This is so close. We are um, 20 kilometers away from the charger, and both our cars show like 30. Uh, I think Beard shows 20, 27 right now, and mine shows 29. <laughs> this is going to be close. Um, Phew! <laughs> we arrived at Ringdalskogen with 6%. Um, 6%. Wow. And we just connect the charger. And yeah, 6%. You can see the charging speed going up to 50 something. 59, I guess. 58, okay. 57, oh no. I guess Bjorn is getting like 900 kilowatt hours. <laughs> kilowatt. Oh. Ah, okay, whatever. What the heck? We are now here. I get communication error. Come on. It didn't charge, it didn't start charging. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna move. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move. Okay, okay. okay. Shit, it, I already lost a couple of minutes here. This is not good. But you will get it. I'm already at 23%. Um, 
and Björn haven't charged yet. What the heck? What's wrong with the car? He tried three chargers at the row and nothing works. So, uh, hmm. I'm going to show you guys now. Now we try the, the Gearing Contact Charger. It's a guy just charged here. There's nothing wrong with this charger. It works. Okay. We take this one, plug it in. All right. Car is unlocked. Take the, the RFID. Start. It says you can start now. Normally you will hear dunk, which is the power switch. Uh, but nothing happens here. The same exact thing happens with the Ionti charger. There's obviously something. I tried six different DC fast chargers. None of them works, and they always work. <sighs> so now we are, I slow charge to eight percent, and it's still not working. I guess we can. Uh, some people mentioned that we could lock down, lock the car and then wait 15 minutes and then start it again or whatever. Uh, not sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it failed here. See here, it says, it says charging problem, communication problem every time. There's something wrong here. Shit. So, um, Pavel, you ordered one of these cars. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> French for the win! <sighs> uh, but, you know, I ordered a blue one and the blue ones are okay. Huh? You ordered a blue one? Yeah, and the blue ones are okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the yellow ones. Yeah. okay let's, uh, let's go back to AC. Or We have two options. We can either go back to AC or we can shut down the car or whatever. Uh, okay, we're gonna try to uh, disconnect the 12 volt battery. And it's actually quite easy. Just Flip this open, oh, it's, it's out. <laughs> yes, so just leave it yeah. un, unconnected, I guess. Wait, wait, where can we leave this thing? Uh, it's okay. Well, I hope it's not live. You, uh, yeah. yeah, you will not shut down. Yeah, so leave it there for a couple of minutes and then plug it in and try again. So I charged to 11%, it doesn't work. So Pavel has the solution, <laughs> yes. yes. This is the solution for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat some uh, ice cream. <laughs> okay, guys, it works now. So we've been dicking around with the AC charging or whatever, but the first thing we should have done was to, very easy, you know, you saw how easy it was. We just flip up this one. It, it's almost like it was made for it. Just flip it up, wait, we wait in a minute, we plug it, we put it back in. And now we are charging on DC, finally. So I guess we can just go back to the Ionti and charge there. <laughs> oh, just... <sighs> yeah. Okay guys, it's been a little bit back and forth. We are at 78%. I'm going to stop charging now. And then I guess we'll kind of resume because, okay, let me unplug now, by the way. Stop. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, you know, we will actually resume because I already worked out that we would need exactly the same time again, just like the previous one. We need about half an hour to charge him to 94, me to 77, right now 78. So we can just try to assume in case we didn't have problems. Can we actually make it back? Uh, yeah, it's very nice and quiet now in the evening. So, let's see then. Okay, we are on the move now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we have pretty good data on uh, charging curve, charging time, whatever. So we can actually almost like load a snapshot of what would happen right now if um, the Peugeot didn't fail. So we would actually finish charging pretty much the same time. And now we are on the run again, <laughs> like if the uh, race would be on, but I calculated that he has a budget an energy budget of 175 watt hour per kilometer. If he stays below 175, then he can make it back without charging. My budget is 235 um, right now at 78%. So we'll see. It would be fun to just see if I can make it back without recharging also.
Okay, we are back in. Uh, uh, well, this is right outside of uh, Circle K, is right over there. Yeah. We just found a nice spot here. <laughs> so, uh, a little uh, summary here of the stats. Um, I came back here with 15% uh, uh, and I had a consumption of 209. And so it means that I didn't have to charge to 77%. I could have charged to uh, six, 60 something. 68. So my charging session was not optimal. Okay, so it was about a little over 200 consumption and 15%. And you? And mine, uh, I arrived here with 25% to the charge and my consumption was at 152 watt hour per kilometer. So <laughs> that means that you can also, you could have left earlier. You didn't yeah. have to charge to 94. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So very even. <laughs> this is so even that it's not exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just arrive here, just both of us, you know, at the same time. Yeah. 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 So I guess, yeah, I, not much to say. Uh, the, the Ionic is really efficient. Uh, and okay, even if I would put 16 inch on the, in the Peugeot, I would probably, I might be five minutes faster, but yeah. still super even. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's going to be it for now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for a nice race again. I yeah. missed it. I missed it. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. So that's going to be it for now then. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.